Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to containerize our Go application using Docker. So, so we will have to go to Docker. So these are our basic step for installation. If it is a Windows user, can click on Windows and download Docker. So it's a very simple step. So you can go ahead and download on your system. You can follow these links. And if you are a same with if you are a Mac user, it's the same and the Linux will be same. You can click on this and go ahead and install it as per your system. So once you have it installed, you have to go to your Visual Studio Code or whatever you are using. Let me have a main dot. So if whatever you are using, if you are using a Visual Studio Code, you can go here on extension. You go to an extension and install your Docker. I have already installed that. So that is a mandatory thing. You have to have your Docker installed in your system and in your IDE. So let's see what how we can containerize our. So we will take a very simple example. Package me. Http dot handle func. func. HTTP response writer request you can say fmt dot f you can say hi hello html dot escape string URL. Okay. Since we are keeping it simple, let's uh, keep it very simple. Fat log fatten HTTP dot listen and serve We are keeping it very basic. Let's create a Docker file. So we will get that only when you have installed. So you can say from from Golang 1.12.0 and find 3.9. You can say run. Make a directory. Let's call it as test. Add. And we copy everything in the root directories. Now, uh, let's add a work directory. Now, let's run to run Google. And so, we, uh, our start command will kick off. Start command will kick off the newly created binary executables. Let's build the image Docker build. It's called test testing. Perfect. So let's see what image it has built. Build images. Oh, sorry, Docker images. So if you see, this is our testing image. I intentionally named it different, which is to show it has nothing to do with the name. And if you want to check, we can check it in our Docker. In Docker, I have uh, a testing image updated here. So this is how we built a simple Docker image. And if you guys like my video, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.